What is up friends to collectors and newcomers? Welcome to my channel. If you're a huge doll collector, and even if you're not, you may have already known all the craze of the new Wave 4 Barbie looks dolls. I received them. And honestly, I actually think they're better than I expected. These three are my favorites. She's my favorite. Or she's my favorite. No, she's my favorite. They're all my favorites. I love her. She's, so far, that's my number one. This is my number two. This is my number three. I wasn't sure I was going to like her so much. She's a petite. But I'm loving her face. I really like him. I don't, there's, my least favorite I think would be her. <laughs> but all of them look so good. So, we're going to review them today. All of them. Normally I like doing like one or two per video, but since we all have, we have them all here, and I've been dying to take them out of the box already, I might as well make the video all together. In the back of the box, we have looks, Dolls number 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, and number 25. Honestly, these or the wardrobe for these are so much better, in my opinion, than Wave 3. I hated the color blocking in Wave 3, so they did a good job with these. I know some people don't like them. I, I've seen reviews or I've seen on my Instagram that some people don't like the colors that they're using, but I'm loving that they use matching colors. So it's not too crazy, maybe except for his. Um, they don't go as well together, but for, somehow it works with the line. I'm loving her outfit and her skirt. I love this one, uh, which is like the lavender. She reminds me of Daphne. So we're going to go in order, actually. We're going to open them by 20, 21, 22. 24 and 25 in other words ladies first let's start with number 20 and she is gorgeous I really 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 like her I knew I was going to when I first saw them I knew she was probably going to be my favorite besides number 21 but man seeing her in person makes it even better <laughs> so she has red hair with a bit of like blonde highlights and then she has some greenish eyes. I'm gonna zoom in on her face for you guys really quick. So you guys can see. There we go. And then her eyeshadow is like a lavender with gray. And then she has some um, very light pink lipstick. She is wearing a lavender or slash purple sleeveless blouse with some Velcro in the back and a metallic skirt. Her boots are lavender or purple. It does. They do have a like a slit, not all the way uh, to the top, but kind of towards the middle in the back, so that uh, you can make it easier for you to put your, her legs through. As you may already know, this is a made-to-move body. All Barbie looks dolls are made to move, and in our channel, we love made-to-move bodies. So she can move her head, her shoulders. She can move, bend her elbow, her wrist, her torso. She can sit, bend her knees, and her ankles. Although right now she can't really bend her ankles because of her boots. But I'm loving that you can actually pose them, which is perfect for our photo shoots and our little dioramas. I really like her. I don't know what I'm going to name her. I'm probably going to name her Daphne, which... I think almost everybody's probably going to name her Daphne because doesn't she remind you of Daphne from Scooby-Doo? From the hair to the outfit, everything. <laughs> I really, really, really like her. Okay, yeah, get over it. I like her. And that's it. Next, number 21. But before we move on, and she does come with her certificate of authenticity. It says Barbie Looks Doll. This certifies that your Barbie Barbie Looks Doll was created through the collaborative efforts of designers and artists at Mattel. It is a black label doll. This one doesn't, or none of these actually specify what doll it is. Uh, so they all have the same certificate. And they also come with a stand. Her stand is white. I'm saying her stand because not all stands are the same color. Hopefully they all are the same color. I'm not a huge fan of these stands because the little clip or the little holder for the dolls always tend to break on me. So what I do is I usually put these away, uh, which I probably will end up selling at some point. 
but I will use like the ones on Amazon uh, because those are very inexpensive and they're easier to handle and I can actually move them because these are this is flexible they need to do better with these um, as far as the stands the stand itself is great it's a little clip with a little holder that I don't like because almost all of them have broken on me Barbie looks number 21 I think she is my favorite I keep saying that she's my favorite and Daphne's my favorite but yeah she's going to probably be my number one look at her beautiful face look at how beautiful she looks the only thing I'm complaining right now about the actual doll herself is that her joints are a little loose like her neck is looser than you'd expect and maybe like her arms uh, but it was probably the way they packaged her but the doll herself is gorgeous so she has braids all over her head and then she has like pink light pink lipstick with like a goldish maybe like bronze colored um, eyeshadow and her makeup everything is not pixelated which I am very pleasantly surprised about and for her outfit she's wearing a pink tank top with some velcro in the back that has like a little opening in the top and a pink leather mini skirt with a little slit on the side she is wearing some pink boots that are matching the skirt I'm actually really glad that the boots are the same color because I saw somebody post on Instagram or one of my Facebook groups that I saw that the boots were like not exactly the same pink but these are good these look like they're pretty like they're the same exact same um, which you know I don't think I would complain about uh, even if they weren't because unless it was like a huge 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 different but it was like a just just like a slightly different tone like a I don't know half a tone um, less pink she, obviously she has her points of articulation you can move her neck her shoulders her elbow her wrist her torso she can sit and bend her knees like that awesome she also comes with her certificate of authenticity and with a stand I want to get a second body of her because or a second one of her because I think I want to rebody the uh, 60th anniversary doll that I got uh, so I think the body might be a good match I just need to put them side by side if it is I'm gonna second get a second one of her so that I can use that body on that doll because that doll is beautiful as well and we have number 22 honestly I didn't think I was gonna like this one as much simply because I didn't like the way she looked in the promos but I'm loving her face. I don't like her hair. Although in the photos that they had, like the promo photos that they had and in the box, there is a different hairstyle on her. I don't know if you can see that. It looks completely different. It doesn't look great, um, but I don't know. I don't I don't know if, if they decided to not do it or, I mean, if they decided that it wasn't going to go with her or um, maybe they did the promo photos before they you know produced all the dolls or it was going to be too difficult or whatever but I don't know I think this one is going to probably need a little makeover I want to wash her hair to see how it looks but what if I wash it and it doesn't look great because it does have a lot of hair product on it it's like all holding it down and I don't know, I don't love the hair, I love the face, but I might want to try and rerouting. I like the color of the hair, it's like a brownish, reddish, slash like little blonde highlights, which I love, but what if we do her hair and it ends up being like a little bob? I think that would be maybe perfect, but, if, but what if we try it and it doesn't come out as great as I expected because it's so short I don't know I think it just might as well try it <laughs> I love her skin color I love that she's petite she is a little really petite uh, she, so I like that I did get a second one of her because I wanted to use 
her body on a different doll so I want to see how that looks uh, if I don't like it at least I have one intact and this one I can play with her hair and whatnot so her face aside from being gorgeous uh, she has very natural makeup she has like a mauve color lipstick and her eyeshadow is very natural color like a pinkish slash mauve also and then she has like greenish slash honey colored eyes she is wearing a jumpsuit that i truly truly hate they've used this jumpsuit style before uh they have it in black on one of the other dolls and i think they might have it in silver for one of the something else i don't remember but i know for sure one of the other ones has it in black and uh, the only thing with the other one is that in the back it's like tied and this one is all velcro in the back so this is like a very mauve-ish colored metallic key jumpsuit and she's wearing silver shoes the little platform shoes which I do like she has obviously her made to move points of articulation which are her head her shoulders her wrists or her elbows, her wrists, her torso, she can sit, bend her knees, and her ankles. What you guys also might know is that they can rotate their hands. So that's like full made to move, you know, articulation, which I love. And the same thing with their legs. So there's like the part here where you can kind of rotate them and that makes them completely made to move. She is not well part of my top three but she is a good one i have nothing bad to say about her except the hair itself and we're going to try and do something about that later she also comes with her certificate of authenticity and with a stand let's move on to number 23. Three, three, three. she is definitely one of my favorites definitely top three top two her number 21 are my favorites um but i really like her well her and the other three <laughs> honestly i can't even decide which would be my number one but i love her, about everything about her she looks like a supermodel look at the pouty lips so if you look at the details on her she has pouty lips she has a perfect jawline and her face is just absolutely stunning she has long blonde hair, which I actually need to fix a little bit because they put gel here on the side, so it's just kind of just flat here. So once I brush it or or uh, wash it or something, then it will look better. It doesn't look bad, it just could look better. She's wearing a turquoise aqua colored metallic dress with a little bit of like silver-ish and it's to one shoulder and it has velcro in the back honestly for all the law for all the looks dolls i wish it wasn't velcro i wish it was more of the little buttons because i feel like the looks made to move dolls should be a little more high-end and the velcro kind of makes it a little cheap but i'm not hating it i just wish it was better her makeup coming back to her makeup really quick her makeup looks very natural uh, i love the the lip color because her pouty lips kind of make them pout a little more who does she remind me of i can't really pinpoint who she reminds me of but she reminds me of somebody i'm gonna think of it and probably remember or probably it'll come to my head once i'm done recording this video and it's been up for like a year but nonetheless i will remember She's wearing some turquoise colored shoes that have like a little buckle on the side. These shoes are very popular with the Made to Move simply because they will hold the ankles in place. I know uh, Barbie Looks number one has these in white and I think they would honestly they work perfectly because then you won't have their ankles bending and all of that. So she does have her full points of articulation which are her neck her shoulders her elbow her wrist her torso she can sit and bend her knees i need a name for this one too i think i want to call her sarah or sarah michelle or buffy that's who i'm kind of leaning to where she reminds me of but i just i can't think of exactly who it is that she reminds me of also i did get a second one of her simply because her skin color 
I want to put on maybe the Margot Robbie doll. It is, it'll be either between her or a um, the tennis doll that I bought recently. So I want to see which one matches better. Anyway, so yeah, let's move on to our next one. Oh yeah, but before we do, she does come with her certificate of authenticity and she comes with a stand. So far, all the stands have been white. So let's hope they all stay white. I don't have a problem with them being like white and black. I just feel like, or they're all white or they're all black. But if they're the same line, just keep the stands the same color. And we are down to the last two. This is Barbie looks number 24. She might be my least favorite, but I'm loving that she is a curvy doll. I love her dress. There's something about her that I don't really love. I don't hate her. I just don't love her. I am going to name her, however, because she reminds me so much of Storm Reed, who plays Gia Bennett in uh, Euphoria, which is Zendaya's sister, Aru's sister. She reminds me of her. Um, so that's what I'm going to name her. I'm either going to name her Gia or I'm going to name her Storm. I love her hair, though. Um, the hair is like a grayish, brownish, blondish, <laughs> different tones. Uh, it does, she is wearing some bangs, which I love that the bangs aren't all jacked up because for the m most part, whenever they have bangs, somehow they end up jacking up the bangs when they're cutting them and hers are sort of straight, except notice how they go down like this, but at least they're not all choppy, uh, which is a plus. I'm loving her pouty lips, which really accentuates the lipstick. Um, and she's wearing like a maybe like a pinkish color, pinkish love, color lipstick. She isn't wearing any eyeshadow, and if she is, you can barely see it. I'm not gonna raise her eyebrow, her bangs too much so you can see the eyebrows, but the eyebrows look pretty good too. So maybe with a little makeover, maybe pulling the bangs back or something, I might love her a little more. But right now, she is my least favorite. I do love her dress, like I said. Um, her dress is uh, like a metallic-y pink color with a silver line on top. And it's like a little poofy. And in the back of the dress, she has some Velcro. She is wearing some booty slash heels that match the dress which i love um i know that we have these or one of the other dolls has them in silver or in black or maybe in both um, but yeah i like it i like the outfit i like everything it's just something about her that i don't love i just can't really pinpoint what it is she does have all her points of articulation which are her head her shoulders her elbow her wrists her torso her torso she can sit and bend her knees and her ankles as time passes I'm probably going to warm up to her but as of now she is my least favorite she comes with her certificate of authenticity and with her stand now moving on to our very last one which is our Ken doll him I'm pretty excited to see so let's take him out now dang Mattel look at you He's definitely giving our Wave 3 Ken a run for his money with those biceps. They have the same body type, that is for sure. They're both bodybuilders slash, you know, gym junkies. So they can share clothes <laughs> since the other clothes on, or the Ken's on the other, the clothes on the other Ken don't really fit him. Not all of them fit him because he has such huge legs and arms. But yeah, he looks really, really good. His hair, although rooted, does need some fixing. It is curly. I want to kind of fix it where it's gonna be just maybe like just towards the middle or, or like towards the center. Have this go up like that. Maybe kind of brush it better. Um, I think that would look so much better on him rather than the way it is now because I don't think that looks as great. But once we fix it, and I hope he's able to get fixed um, we will be pretty happy about that see notice how better that looks how much better that looks than having it compared to the size although it is pretty curly so hopefully 
that works for me. His eyes are like a brownish honey color and he is wearing a green t-shirt with some velcro in the back and some lavender color pants with some velcro in the back wait are they velcro yeah velcro in the back and some silver boots so this is the thing about the boots one of them was tucked in the other one was tucked out i'm assuming it's supposed to be tucked out so i'm going to fix that there we go so he does have all points of articulation which is his head his torso, his biceps, <laughs> his shoulder, his uh, elbows, his wrist, and he actually has like the wrist, like if he's going to, you know, flex. Um, his, he can sit, and he has like the little plastics here on his knees, but he can bend his knees and his um, ankles. I want to bring the other Ken out just so you guys can see, you know, they're both gonna be gym partners uh gym junkies except my other ken is behind this backdrop so i cannot reach him at the moment um so that'll be a probably a to be continued type of deal um in a short or something but um or my instagram we can check them out on my instagram when we do like a gym post for them or something because i can't reach him they're behind there but doesn't he look really good and he's a handsome fella huh he's pretty handsome I really like him. I, I think out of the Kens, I think they did a really, really good job um, with him. Now Mattel, we've said this before. We've mentioned it in a few videos before. When are you guys going to do a made to move plus size Ken or like a bear Ken or, you know, a chunky Ken? Uh, we need them, uh, not all of our Kens have to be buff and perfect bodies. We need some plus size Kens, made to move ones, because we have some thick ones that are just like the basic ones that you can't move, you know, that have no articulation besides the five points. We need some for made to move, or we need some in made to move. Work on it for wave five. Por favor. He also comes with the same certificate of authenticity, nothing changed. I thought this one was actually gonna say like Barbie looks Ken or something, but it doesn't. And he comes with the stand. And this is it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think of all of our way for Barbie looks dolls. Which one is your favorite? We've already established which ones are my favorite. So I wanna hear from you which one you like the most. Oh my God, isn't she beautiful? I just. Oh yeah, uh, yeah, all of them. They did a good job with these. I, I, I can't imagine them not looking so great. When they first showed the promo photos, I wasn't super excited about them. But once now that they're here and we see them in person, I'm loving them. But let's hope that in the next wave they can do a plus size Ken. For more unboxing videos, more Barbie videos, more Monster High videos, more doll makeover videos, mini brands videos, all types of videos, make sure you hit that subscribe button and click the little bell to notification every time I upload a new video. Also, and don't forget to follow me on Instagram and this.mini.arik and on TikTok at this guy Arik, and I will talk to you guys soon.